What up y'all, quick intro to this video. We're finally getting into our 1v1 match series um, where I take on a single digit handicapper and just see how long it takes me to get a win on my platform. So just a quick little introduction to this video. I'm taking on Jason, who is a subscriber to the channel. He reached out to me and wanted to get around in. I thought it would be a good opportunity to get our first video up on this series up on the channel. So Jason is a single digit handicapper. He says he's like a high single digit, like eight or nine. I actually think he's like somewhere in that mid tier range, for like a six or a seven, because he just plays really, really well. But what I want you guys to take away from this video is how Jason navigates the course and how he manages his expectations throughout his round. Because sometimes you're gonna hit bad shots, you're gonna hit good shots, but you have to try to stay even killed throughout the whole thing. And that's something that I noticed when I'm, while I was editing this video that he does really, really well. And I don't do pretty much at all. I'm just out there picking my shots, trying to play the game as best as I possibly can, not really knowing what I'm getting into and what I'm doing. The way that he manages the course, manages his expectations, is something to be admired. So I really want you guys to take away from that. From this video just really pay attention to that especially us high handicappers out there that wants to improve our game prove our mental stability throughout the round and so on and so forth so without further ado let's get right into the match special episode today we're going to have our first match play on the channel or technically our second match play but We're gonna start the whole match play series where I take on a single digit handicapper and just see how long it takes me to get a win on the channel. So today we got my boy Jason. Jason, tell me a little about yourself, how long you've been playing, what's your handicap? Uh, well, thanks for having me to the channel for the first thing. Oh, so man. yeah, of course. Nice to always hang out with we you. We actually, he actually subscribed to the channel yeah. recently, hit me up, and then now we're out here on the golf course. So. Yeah, doing it. Kind of um, dope. I've been playing for quite a while, but I would probably say really Kind of got good. I got some decent equipment, got fitted probably in the last five years and been taking it pretty serious. And uh, fun is always the most important thing. So I just come out here and have fun and, you know, try to get better. You know, we have a whole lifetime to, to learn this game and learn from other players. And, you know, golf's the greatest game. You, it's a game you play by yourself with others and you get to learn a lot about yourself out here and then just meet some cool people to play with. So yeah. looking forward to having some fun today. Yeah, man. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, a match play. We're going to talk through each of our shots so you guys can kind of see how single digit handicapper and how a double digit handicapper navigates the course. Great shot from there. We'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes, right? So uh, let's get it. Shot. Thank you. In play. Start, good start, good start. Be friendly over there. Uh, be a good number. Oh, good shot. I'll take it. Oh, short. All right. Missed the green just short of it. So we got a little bit of right to left. Got a 56. See if we can just bump this up there. Get close. Okay, yeah. I forgot the sands are sandy and they're not moving. Not very long. I think it played 360, 370. Just hit a little comfortable three iron off the tee. And I had a good number coming in. I was in the middle of the fairway. I had about 138 to the flag. Just a comfortable nine iron. Got it to pin high. Greens are sanded. We'll see how these roll. So you're going for bird here, huh? First putt. Yeah. So usually what I try to do when I'm putting is just obviously find out which way it's gonna go and which side of the hole I'm comfortable leaving it on if I miss. So from here, I like the right side. Keep it on the high side. If it never stays high enough, it never has a chance to go in. Just gotta get the pace right. Oh. 
Good speed though. I'm okay with that. It's not too far from the hole. Sometimes on these pots, I get a little scared. I want to just go ahead and knock them in so I don't have to think about it. Sometimes when you mark, you get... I'm already going to give myself an out right here and give myself an excuse. Greens are sandy today. They're going to be sandy all day. So if he uh, obliterates me today, that's going to be the reason. Oh, then automatic two putt. That one's good. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? No, no, no. Just a lot of the times if they're punched and sanded. All right. So same thing. It's a little bit of right to left. Um, we're probably just going to go right edge since they're probably not going to move a ton. Just put some good pace on it, see if we can knock this through. For the par. Didn't stay high enough. Bogey to start. Bogey me. The only thing about these punch greens is sometimes your ball's just sitting right in a dimple. Right in a dimple. So. And you never know what it's going to do so once yeah. you hit it. Might go left, might go right. These are not my favorite putts in the world. They teeter on being touchy or just right in the back of the cup. Cut. All right, circled it in. Smooth pass. You know, if we don't make, if we don't hit the green, it's okay. It's a 185 yard shot. That's, you know, you're asking a lot if you want to hit every green on a 185 yard shot. So uh, everything in front looks safe. Just want to pay attention to where we, where we want to be. Maybe where we don't want to miss. Let's see how we do. That looks Felt good. solid. It's online. I'm happy with that. A shot. Thank you. Oh man, Jay came to play today. I don't, might, that might, I don't know. I'm starting to guess this whole match play thing, man. I'm gonna come out here and get embarrassed on my own channel. But it's all good because we're learning. So we got par three, 160 to cover, right? 185 yep. to the back. So we pull the seven iron. Again, anything short is fine. We just don't want to go long, so it's a comfortable club so we can get a nice smooth swing out there. I'm happy with the shot. Go a little bit. So I think that's gonna be short. But that's fine. I'm never gonna get mad at it. It's like a three quarter swing there. Yeah, when I executed my shot. Whatever. Yeah, that makes sense. But I I hit that one pretty good. I saw it bounce on the green. You think it rolled off? Hey, if it if it bounced, we're cool. I mean, either yeah, I way. I was telling uh, Jordan, I felt like I executed my shot. So if I do that, I'm never gonna be upset. For sure. Yeah, I took a half swing. I don't know why, or a three quarter swing. I don't know why. Still trying to find that find that feeling right now. All right, we're way short. We pulled up. I don't know. We got about 50 yards. Much got a 58. Back. See if we can just get this up there. I'm glad for this. A nice, easy swing. Yeah. Oh, it's got to go. Run out. So I got a 58. It's kind of new to my bag. I haven't lived with a high lofted wedge for most of my playing days, but trying to incorporate it in. So the biggest thing on these shots, you know, you gotta check the lie, but these are so touchy. You have to commit, don't quit. Oh, that's it. Nice touch. I'm okay with that. I'm putting, got a chance to save a par. Putt for par here. It's gonna be uphill, so I gotta put a lot of pace on it. I think it's gonna be breaking a little bit of left to right, but we're just gonna try to go left center, see if we can just get it up and, and tap in distance. Go, go, keep rolling, get closer. Okay. That's a good putt. Not terrible. It's good distance, just that not the right good. line. Got a chance for a reel up and down here. I'm happy with that shot I got on. Got a good decent line at the flag too, so I can be aggressive, slightly uphill, not much movement to the putt. So all we want to do here is just make a good stroke and a par, great. Bogey, I'm okay with that too. There's lots of bogeys out here. Oh, good putt. There we go. What a putt. Thank you. All right, we're down to a little sigh of relief. 
All right, not a horrible start. Two bogeys, we're down two. I don't know what I was thinking, taking on single digit handicappers, but down two, we put up to a par four. It's about 390. We're just gonna try to keep this left of the bunker, but not too far left, because that's danger zone over there. So we just try to keep this straight. Okay, it's going right. Get down. All right, all right, we're in the fairway. Good shot. It'll be a longer second shot, but it's okay. Playing from the fairway is always good. A ball in play is a good ball. Yes. All day long. All right, so third hole. I got two pars. Am I starting to feel it or not? So Oops, some pressure on it. bunker plays right in the middle. So I have a decision. I can play aggressive and hope to not be in the bunker, or if I play safe like my three iron off hole number one, it's gonna leave me a longer shot in, so. But, hey, we're off to a good start. Let's just try and keep it rolling and make a good swing. Be friendly over there. <clears throat> Oh, it's going to be teetering. Hey, man, it's first of all, I mean, appreciate you coming out. Oh, thank That's you. That's awesome. Out here, he's, he's actually playing Goose Creek for the first time today, so I like him so far. So far, it's beautiful. It's well manicured, taken care of. Uh, the, the practice facility is great. And so far, the first hole, the first couple of holes, got a par four, par three, par four. So they're kind of easing us into the round. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great day. Great weather. I mean, it, things can be worse, right? We could be doing something else on a Friday, early afternoon. Yeah, Easter many things week. we don't want to be doing. Many things that we don't want to be doing. So, you know, we out here on the golf course having a good time. Even though he's going to whoop my ass today, so it's all good. And it's still early in the round. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Didn't spray left. Yep, 139. So I'm dropping, hitting three. A little unfortunate, but I'm not gonna get mad because I've never played here before. So, <laughs> you know, just just take a mental note for next time. Because we're playing three, we just wanna be on. We're not trying to get aggressive. Just wanna make a good swing and get back on track. And who knows, maybe we make a four. But we definitely don't wanna make a six. Shot. Thank you. Just tried to be nice and smooth. Oh. And we're dancing. Settle, settle, settle. All right, we're good. I can see the hole. Okay, we got a shot at four here, so. Be nice to make it, don't have to after losing the ball, but we're close enough to where we want to make it. It'd be nice. Very nice. Thank you. Good par. Thank you. <clears throat> Got a par five, five something. I just gotta try to be competitive here. There's no there's no talking needed. Let's just let's just play golf, man. Oh good ball. Hang on. Alright. It's okay, right side of the cart path. We have grass though. Okay, par five, the last hole. I hit a fade, I hit a good shot. This was the shape I wanted, but it ended up being out of play. So we dropped it, got lucky. So my first decision is, okay, do we stay aggressive because the scorecard's okay? Or do we drop down to the three iron that we hit before and just put it in play? But hey, it's rolling, we're going with it. I'm gonna hit a driver. My normal miss is to the right, a slight tug or a pull. 
so I, I feel like I'm gonna be okay. It's a par five as long as it's in play. Should be able to stay in the hole. Shot. Thank you. And we got away with it. Okay, good shot, man. Thank you. Are you in the Are you in the fairway? Uh, yeah. Nice. So we're down three right now. Um, hole four. If I can just get one hole off you today. I'll I think ecstatic. you're gonna get one for I'll, sure. I'll be ecstatic, honestly. But we, we, would you say your handicap was? Are you like a uh, if I, nine? Yeah, I could, a single digit, a high single digit. Uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm establishing one right now, but I live in the low 80s. And we'll, you know, kind of break 80 here and there. Nice. So. You like that. We got about 280 to the pin. Thought about going forward and pulling a, a three a three wood, but it's gonna kind of lay up with the with the three hybrid. I got trees in the way, so I want to try to make sure I can get over it. But all in all, we just need to try to put this back in the fairway, and get a decent shot going in. Try to split the uprights right here. Oh no! Keep going though. All right, it's advancement. I think I came up a little bit, tried to swing a little too hard. All right, I got 265 to the flag, it's a par five. We are also playing match play. So uh, Kuwait was off in the rough and uh, got it back into the to the fairway. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit a six iron down there, just try to hit automatic shot. It's safe on the left, it gives us a good angle into the flag. Left is dead, so we don't wanna do that. So again, just wanna make a good smooth pass and just advance it and hopefully we get a good number into the green. And I'm okay with that. Sounded lovely. All right, guys, third shot. You're gonna pull the hybrid again. Um, try to swing a little smoother this time. Just try to keep a, keep a good swing thought going, good swing pace. Aim a little bit right though, so I don't wanna go left and go OB. We're just looking for one. We just need that one. Too much right. All right, it's advancing. We're wedge shot in now, so that's, you gotta be able to take that. Can I make a mental note or, I don't wanna mess with you. Go ahead. So, so like back here, you tried to hit a hybrid, you didn't hit it great, you advanced it but you kind of had a similar number and had to hit the same club again. Yeah. So sometimes, were you comfortable and confident with your hybrid back there? Usually, well, the only thing that I think, the, well, the, only, the thing that I think I messed up on the first hybrid shot was I pulled up a little too, and I swung a little too hard. Okay. So I figured if I would hit it, because I'm usually really comfortable with the hybrid. So I figured if I hit the same type of shot, keep my head down, swing a little smoother, I can make solid contact. That time I think I was just aimed way right because okay. I was scared of the bunker. But again, that's just like the mentality thing that I think that I need a lot of work on. But uh, well, the reason I was asking that question is, um, you know, it's always important to put a club in your hand that you're confident with. You know, if you're if you feel like you're having to hit a shot you don't hit very often or you don't hit very well, it's probably not the shot you want to hit. You know, you know, depending on the club on the other side. So say you're hitting a hybrid, maybe you have a, a you know a five iron. If you feel like you're more comfortable with a five iron, especially on like a par five, we're just trying to advance it and you know keep the course in front of us and still set up a scoring opportunity. Um, go with what's more com more comfortable and confident for sure, because uh, usually it'll tend to lead to better results. Like that. Uh, Quay drove away already. I'm pretty sure it was about 70 uh, to the front. So. Pin looks like just beyond that. I got a 58 again, so it's probably maxing out the distance on this. I really don't like to hit my wedges full out, but at the same time, I got a good rhythm today. Um, I've been making good contact, and um, you know I'm okay with it. We're up here in two with a, a short wedge in the hand, so you know we've done a lot of our job already, and you know let's let's see how this goes. Be good. Okay. What we executed shot. once again. 
All right, we'll just try to get this on the green. Jason's up there pretty close, so it's about a 58. Just try to get some loft on and get it over this tree. Uh, hit the ball, Q. Go, go. See if we can just keep it on the high side. A little uphill though, so. Oh, shanked it. Oh, wow. Okay, we managed to get this one to the hole and definitely have something makeable. So let's not think too much. We're not excited about it, no matter what it's for. We just want to make it. Thank you. Part three. Got about 182, I'll put a six iron. I think it's gonna be, sh I don't think it's enough club though. I should have I should have pulled a five and clubbed up, but just try to keep this right. Try to get it on the front of the green. Uh, it's not gonna carry. Oh. Uh. Okay, I feel like this is the first real test of the round. So I've got not a bad number, but we got wind going left to right. We've got a bunker on the left-hand side. It's about a 166 carry to reach the front of the green. 166, ah, seven iron, six iron. I'm gonna hit a six, just try to make a good smooth pass. We're gonna air on the left so we're safe. I don't wanna be aggressive here at all. I wanna keep it in play. So, and it, you know, if we take a bogey out of here, we take a bogey out of here. It's a par three. So you don't have to par every hole and you definitely don't have to par every par three. The par threes are the hardest. Just gotta get the number right. Kinda yanked it. Be short enough to be safe. All right. I can still see it from here, so. We're way short. Missed the hazard though, so. Another upslope, so we're gonna try to get this, some club on this and get this up in the air. 58. Oh, I pulled it. Okay, so I hit an okay shot. I feel like I got the distance right. I'm not sure if it was the wind that pulled it to the right, or I just didn't start it on line. I think I've had a feeling it was my line, but uh, we're up against the collar. It's not a, a ton of danger in this shot. We just have to make sure that we commit, don't quit to this chip. Anything on is a success, and we'll just see what we get out of here with. So you wanna make sure you hit the ball first on these types of shots. Check, check. Check up. Okay. All right, so that was a bad shot. We pulled it a lot, ended up in the bunker. So now we're just trying to, trying to get this out. I'm not quite sure how to hit these on the upslope. Just gonna try to get this up. Oh, good out. Great out. I'll take that. Round's going good so far. I'm off to a good start. We're on a par three. I got this for par. We can make up our mind right here. You know, do we want to keep grinding it out and try and make pars and making today tough or just enjoy the day, enjoy the company and, you know, just stay with that same rhythm. And one thing I do want to say is these greens are actually rolling pretty good compared to what they look like. So I'm definitely happy with that. So. I don't know which way this is going to break. I'm just going to not necessarily play straight at it, but maybe a little left side. The speed's the main thing, and we make it cool. I just want to not have to putt the next one. Mm. I'm okay with that. 
All right, so we got a right to left on the low side. So try to tap this in. Turn. Oh, turn too late. All right, I'm trying to figure this out. We got to figure this out. All right, we got hole six, about 360. 361 we pulled a three wood because we got a dog leg left so we're just going to try to go straight at, aim at this bunker try to put one in the fairway we got bunnies running across the, the tee boxes good shot we'll take that great shot thank you Okay, so I got a question for the people in the comments. Okay, so sure I'm a high single handicap, but I'm I'm through six and I'm lying even. I got a birdie and I just took my first bogey. What do I want to do here? Do I want to stay aggressive because we're having fun and we got off to a good start? Or do we want to just stay in the rhythm we're in, hit a comfortable shot? I don't know, you know, I'm still working on my game too. So kind of want to hit the three iron, but kind of want to go with the driver too, because a lot of golf is about having fun too, you know? And, finding out who you are in certain situations. I don't want to start protecting score yet. I want to play, I want to have fun. I want to see what kind of shots I can hit. So I'm going to go with the driver, try to fade it. Oh, I just kind of hit it straight it with a little, little draw. All right, we're going to make this whole fun now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you could hear me, but I was like, do I go with the three? No, yeah. Just yeah. Say, I like, like I actually, I actually like that commentary because okay. we don't, I don't, I don't get a lot of that, and uh, it's good to hear that because there's some things about like course management and playing golf where you you have to go through that like mental gymnastics with yourself just to kind of like you know you got you, you, you almost have to kind of remind yourself that we're out here having a good time. Like yeah. stop worrying about trying to go super low and trying to like force yourself to play well if you're having a good time if you're having fun you're usually pretty pretty good yeah right uh no i 100 agree with you it's you know part of playing golf is having fun and deciding what kind of day you want to have sure. you know yeah. if you if you're hitting great and you're playing for score and you just want to hit boring shots or just automatic shots that's great that's cool there's definitely a day for that but then there's you know a day that you want to hit the fun shots with the shots that you feel like you want to hit or or i don't know this is going to be maybe my first or second kind of trouble shot i guess of the yeah day. and you kind of so, you, you you learn a little bit about yourself yeah. that's that very fun yeah. 50 that's usually a nine iron for me but i'm gonna club up and go eight great shot good number <sighs> wind feels like it's hurting a touch yeah it's in our well, face a little bit right so Try to keep this right and let the wind push it back in. Ah, uh, stayed straight. Tried to set myself up for a draw and it didn't draw at all. All right, so I hit driver and not sure where I was going to be exactly, but one thing that I've, I've tried to do, and I've been doing this for a while, is don't get negative before you kind of know what the result is. Because if I felt like I hit a, a bad shot, I thought I was going to be over here, past the path, maybe with something in front of my way. But if I start thinking after my shot, all of a sudden, hey, I, I didn't hit a great one and I'm going to have trouble. And then you get here and you got a wide open shot. Now you have to do something different. You got to think different and get back into that positive mode. So I don't try to start thinking until I have to. So, and this is a, a perfect example. So I hit driver and I, I got a good lie. I got a good number and we can still hit a good shot. All right, so I got 154. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Definitely need to carry. The wind seems down. Coming out of the rough, but it's a downhill lie, which is gonna make the ball go a little left to right and give you a little bit more yardage if you get a clean strike, so. I'm okay with this number in this club. Little fat, hope it carries. Looks good though. Oh yeah. Yep. 
and we're good. And we look like we're pros now. <laughs> That'll work. I mean, if you stay quiet, you can take the compliment. Yeah, take the compliment and then just kind of act like you've done it before, right? Yeah, just keep it to yourself sometimes. You know, if you get a good result and you didn't feel like you hit the greatest shot, keep it to yourself. Your playing partners will congratulate you. And it's good mojo anyway. Absolutely. wasn't the shot that we wanted. They a little straight on us, so we're gonna try to just pop this up and get this on the dance floor. 56 degree. Nice and smooth. Try to be as comfortable as possible. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, all right, so we've got I feel the longest putt I've had of the day for sure. So the guys in the pro shop said, if you've never played here before, don't overread the greens. So I just see, feel like it's going a little right to left. I'm just gonna go dead at it and just try to get the speed right. Actually, I think, yeah, I don't wanna think too much here. I just wanna get the speed right and we'll see what happens. Sometimes I don't know where it's gonna go. And then once you get over your ball, it looks like something totally different, so. We're just gonna try and get get the speed right here. Get up there. What a great putt, man. Thank you. Dude, I'm on a downhill, so I gotta be careful with the pace. It's probably gonna be funneling more so to the left, but it's right on the middle of both ridges. So I'm gonna try to, I don't play it to the high side, maybe left to right a little bit. Get this in tap in distance. Okay, slow down. Didn't move a lot. Oh. All right. Sam, what I notice about when you hit your shots that I actually like and admire is that like you don't when you're up there you don't look like you're overthinking it you just kind of step up you're nice and loose take your back swing and just swing through i think full shots full yeah. shots yeah. okay no i appreciate that thank you yeah because um, i think i think that uh that's one thing that i need to take away from that because i when i get up there i'm thinking too much i'm get stiff and that's why i start chunking and blading it and all that other stuff but anytime i go up there and just hit they usually have to have a better result so. yeah um that just takes time to be honest I, you know anytime i'm i'm telling you know people that are just getting started in the game or you know high handicappers or just you know enjoy the game um go to the range like twice a week and just yeah. groove a swing just groove it groove it groove, groove it swing. you know something that's in rhythm like, um good tempo much. yeah so don't that too much about where it's going or whatever swing the swing don't don't hit the ball swing the swing yeah so so once you get your your rhythm and your tempo down now you can come out to the course and you can just swing your swing Absolutely. and just take all this nonsense out just just swing i like it oh par five okay par five all right big par five we got about 5 30. pull the driver you just try to go right i mean uh, just straight ahead not much to uh this tee shot we just try to put this in play Try to take after Jason, just get up here, get, stay nice and loose, and swing your swing. Money. And you usually have a good result. Good ball. Thank you. All right, par five. Quay just hit one right down the middle. He hit a, a nice shot, a really, a really good shot. So, of course, I'd like to follow it up, but at the same thing, I'm, I'm, playing, I'm playing my own game, my own shots you know, on this golf course. So I just want to make make a good smooth pass. Par five, so we don't have to Starting eat up. off the tee, but we do want to be in play. Oh yeah. Dude is money, man. Love it. I got, a, I got a question for you. Thank you. Sure. 
Well, I mean, I know because this is like a question a lot of people have, but what is your, when you step up to the ball, what is usually like your swing thought? Or do you even have one? Um, kind of putting me on the spot right now. I'm not too <laughs> sure, to be honest. Like I said, uh, you know, go to the range, groove your swing. Really just try to have no thought. Um, yeah. That's probably the biggest thing. That's because, a swing thought, no thought. Yeah, no thought. Or if you do have a swing thought, one, I wouldn't say two maybe just one you know okay. just something you know whether it's rhythm uh don't take don't take too much of a back swing um yeah you might have to ask me again when i have a better answer but really just kind of no thought just swing just good good rhythm good tempo and you know just let the shot be the shot i like that all right we're in the middle of the fairway uh it gets narrow up there i'm just going to try and hit a 150 shot advance it Keep it on a string, stay in play. That's the only goal here. Just trust what I've been bringing today. Not immediately happy with that. All right, decent shot. We missed the fairway barely, just shy of the bunker, so. We got about 260 to the flag. I'm tempted to go for it, but we're gonna lay up. We got a seven iron. We're gonna try to keep this straight because I don't want to go OB in the mulch. So see if we can just keep one nice and smooth and just poke one right out here. It's par five, so we're just trying to look for some advancement. be fine take that all day good shot thank you okay so after i hit my shot there i've never played here before i hit an eight iron i was trying to keep it in front of me i kind of tugged it a little bit and kind of started to get a little worried you know thinking that maybe i was out over here but again you know we come up here we're okay so i've got a good number i've got that same number i was hitting that 132 132 so I've hit my nine iron really good a couple of times and dropping down to my pitch here. We're kind of fluffed up in the in the rough here and I just want to get on the green. I just want to kind of re recenter myself again after hitting a shot that wasn't exactly well executed. So middle of the green, it's all we need, it's all we want, you know. Oh, and then I commit the com the sin of sins. Good second shot. We got a 58. We're about 80 yards or so out. Just try to put a nice, try to put one on the green regulation for once. Oh, just short. Just short. Terrible lie, so we're right here on the edge. So I gotta stand in the bunker. I've never had this shot before, so see if we can just bump this over there. Oh, slow down. Oh, I wasn't able to get any club on that. So I had a pitching wedge in my hand and did not hit a great shot. So uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm dropping over here, little knee high drop. I wanna look at the lie. It's kind of sitting down a little bit, so I got to be careful. Um, at this point, we're just going to rely on what we've been doing. Got to kind of turn the brain off for just a second so we can get off this hole and just get to the next tee. I didn't really take a good look at the green, so that's my bad. Shot. Oh my God. I go right to left. Try to keep it somewhat straight though. The 
It stayed dead straight. It didn't have any turn on it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. My mind is a, a little racing at the moment. I'm trying to think, what's my score? What's the best score? What do I have to do here to save a number? The truth is, is that none of that really matters. The only thing that matters is, you know, what we're about to do. So, see a little, little left to right here. And again, we just wanna get the pace. Can't change anything that's already happened. Not great, but you know, should be stress-free. Maybe your playing partner gives it to you. Just walk in, knock it in. Let's go. All right, we got a par four, 360. We're gonna go three wood. It's been a good, good club for me so far today. So we're just gonna try to keep it straight, get a decent shot, just try to find a fairway. Great shot. All right. Little fat, but made decent contact. Got it out in the fairway. Okay. So this is an important tee shot because it's going to recenter me, get me back on track, or just kind of, just a, you know, we're going to see if the wheels are off or not, and we, you know, got to start going to work. So I made it a three iron. Fairway's pretty wide. It's a short part four. So we just want to make a good strike and sometimes you got to battle on the next shot. I'm willing to battle on the next shot here instead of hitting driver. Shot. Thank you. All right, back on track. All right, decent shot. We don't want to do too much talking here. It's pretty straightforward. We got a 56 degree. We got about 105 yards. Front pin. Let's try to get this up. And the hosel. All right, so I hit a three iron off the tee. Felt like I you know, just centered it, hit it great, felt good. We can keep moving. So I got 103 to the pin. So I'm gonna hit a 50. Who doesn't like a hundred number for an approach? So, but again, just nice and smooth. We play with rhythm out here. Just like your favorite song or your favorite dance. It's got a rhythm and you just wanna stay in the pocket. All right, we're plugged up, so we got to dig this out, try to get this up. Want to get the speed right? Tap in two. Easy par, get out of here. No one's ever mad at par. Oh, nice. Go in. Ooh. Good putt. Um, I thought about putting this, but I'm going to just get a pitching wedge, put a cl some club on it, get a nice little putting stroke. There's a lot of fringe in front of me, so try to get this close. I didn't get any club on it. Oh, 
Oh, it slowed down. Any other day, that would have been a good putt. But since they're sandy and slow, that was tough. I got an eight iron in my hand. I think it was 148, which I like that number. Getting up here, kind of starting to think a little bit. It's like, oh, e, do I want to club up? But you know what? Sometimes when you get up here with a club and you don't want to go back, you just got to stay smooth. Stay smooth. Maybe tee it up just a touch higher, which I did. Smooth this far. Ooh, stop drawing. Stay. All right. About 148. We pulled. Oh, that's a six iron. We don't want that. 148. We got a we got an eight iron. So we're gonna try to get this high and put this on the green. Let's get a good shot here. Finish off the front nine. That hit the green and bounce off. I like hit the green and bounce backwards. All right, so we're up on the green. I mean, we up, we hit the green, then we bounce back off this hill. So we got a 58. We're trying to get this up and land it soft so we don't roll off. But I'm gonna try to open the club face a little bit. Just get underneath this, swing a little smooth. Just try to pop it up. Soft hands. Soft hands. like that good shot thank you taking this hole a battle we both missed the green he hit a good chip shot and i'm definitely in a tougher position so let's see what kind of ma magic we can make happen and i just heard uh quay say soft hands so i'm gonna try and mimic that same thing see if we can make it a putt off Ooh, oh, sick. Kind of bladed it. Hope it's check, spinning. Check, check, check. Did not hit the greatest shot in the world. Thinned it a little bit, but we're on the putting surface. We got to take the positives here. So we're on. We did our job. Now we just got to make a good stroke. And again, it's a par four. A lot of golf is just compartmentalizing. Just see how you can take a positive out of anything. Par threes are the toughest holes on the course. So we do have a putt for par. That's a bonus. And bogeys are okay too. It's it's not the bogeys that kill you, it's the doubles. So let's just put a good stroke on it. And sometimes you get lucky. Did I hit it? Ooh. Not really, but it's a two putt, so. We're okay. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the front nine of our 1v1 match play series. The first match play while I'll take on a single digit handicapper on this on the channel. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, how did you guys think I played? How you guys think Jason played? Did you guys take anything away from today's video? If so, leave it in the comments so other people can kind of go through, read and, you know, learn from as well. And also, too, I want to continue on this series. So if anybody out there wants to challenge me to a match play 
and get on the channel and get featured and all that good stuff. One, you have to be obviously subscribed to my YouTube channel and two, you must be a single digit handicapper. So if there's anybody out there that wants to get into a round and uh, get out there and play with your boy, let me know, hit me up and we'll get something set up. And until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah.